Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy multiple images to the containers, the multiple containers using the Azure Container Registry. Last video, I showed you how to do the same stuff using the Docker Registry. This time, I'm going to use the Azure Container Registry. Come, let's dive in. So in this demo, I will be using the same two application that is there in the GitHub. So I'm going to start with the Azure portal. So if you see, go to the search box and then type container registry and you will see Azure container registry. If you don't have it, you will see like this and then I'm going to click on the create container registry. Here, this is all the basic information that you need to fill up, the subscription, the resource group and then followed by a couple of information. So here I will choose my existing resource group so that later I can delete everything at one shot. So I'll be choosing the Docker demo registry. Right then and then here the registry name is important okay so anything that you give it should be unique to the domain called your name followed by dot azure ic.co okay so and then here in the next excel location i will choose the closest location of uh, my thing so my name is uh, i mean the registry name is learn smart coding dot azure cr dot io and then Availability zone, we don't need it for now. And then there are three SUKs, right? Standard, basic, and premium. The functionality of these three are almost same. There is no up and down, but you know, the cost wise different, the storage wise different. If you Google the continuous registry cost, it will eventually take you here. You see this, these are the cost difference, okay? So I'm gonna choose the basic, just $0.1 per day. You can choose whatever you want. So next is, I have two registries. I have two repositories, the task manager.api and web. And those two repositories are now in GitHub. I'll give you the link in the description. Don't worry about it. So let's focus on this. Next tab is the network tab. So you choose on the network and then I'm going to leave everything as default for this container registry. Encryption It's by default. It's, uh, you know, Azure encrypted keys, customer encrypted keys are available only in the premium version. So that's okay. And then the next one, if you see the tags, right? Tags are useful to categorize and to have it. So let's click on the final one, review and create. Validation is passed, so I'm gonna click on create. Deployment started, and then in few moments, you can go to the resource. And here, if you see right side, you know, there are a couple of options. We will we will see how the container registry access works, but uh, there's something called, um, you know, repository. Repositories are nothing but the place where uh, you know we create the name and then followed by it will have the image. Now, first install the CLI, issue CLI for Windows. If you don't have it, install it. I have already installed it, but this is the link. I will share you this link as well. Uh, if not, worst case, you can Google it. It's not a big deal. Okay, so I will install the CLI so that we will be performing some operations. Okay, now I opened up the command prompt and then say az login. Now this will bring up a screen where I need to physically log in, right? So I logged in, so the account was successful. The next thing is once it is successful in the screen, it will show you all these details, okay? Your, your tenant ID, your subscription ID, and all those things. That's fine, we'll clear it. Now I'm going to go to the location where my solutions are, uh, are kept in my local folder. So which is under this location. And then I'm going to do a Docker image, right? A Docker image, you can do it from anywhere, but I can do that from that location. So I listed me a couple of images and containers. I, I opened up the desktop container of the Docker and then cleared off everything. Now, if I execute the same command, there is no repository. So we're going to do everything from scratch, right? So brand new. So the first thing that you have to do is first build the image for the application that you have. We have two applications, API, the task manager API and task manager web app. What we are going to do is we will first build the image for the web app. So docker build dash t followed by the username slash the, the name of the image followed by the tag colon tag and then dash f followed by the location of the docker file. That's what I'm putting. Once I do this, these comments we have seen in the docker related videos, see the image has been built. Now what we will do see the image is ready now next is the tag we have to tag it first okay so when you tag what you have to do you need to need to have a repository name right so in docker hub we have to go and create repository but here is little different okay first thing what we will do first we will do a easy login it will open up it logged in okay so we were able to authenticate ourselves 
once that is done what we are going to do is we are going to connect to the azure container register okay so before that uh, we left in the tagging place so we will come back and first finish the tagging so docker tag followed by username slash repository name followed by colon the version okay so we will name this as task manager web app because our image is related to the task manager web app uh, application and then followed by be careful here the username here the username or the container name in, in here can the container registry name so the name here is learn smart coding dot azure cr dot io if you remember that is what we created it right the resource followed by task manager web app and then colon the tag name see i'll come back again i'll go to this registry on the overview blade to the right side you see something called login server that is what here the username in docker hub directly the username was there here this is the username unique identification now once you tag the last step the third step is to push this image to the azure container registry for that first you need to authenticate yourself so az azr container azure container registry login dash dash name followed by the name the name that we have see the reason why we are doing this is uh, one login might have different container registry so now right now we are authenticating against one container registry named learn smart coding okay so the login is successful next is to push docker push followed by the username i just highlighted this is the username followed by the the, the repository name and then followed by the tag so i kept it I copied the same thing. Now this has been pushed to the uh, Azure Container Registry. Okay. So once we push, we go back there and see how the repository is created. Okay. So let's go click on repository. You see this, the name that you gave in the second one after slash, that was the name of the repository. And then the tag version will be the image tag version. Okay. Now let's come back. Let's, um, what we will do is, we will click on type i mean like we will go to the the task manager web app okay this image is what we are going to deploy here right so in the previous video we were doing it from the docker hub we are going to change it here look at this container registry right now this is con connected to the docker hub we're going to change this okay so what we are going to do is here something called docker container registry once you click it, the subscription ID will come because again, the reason why subscription is coming, many subscription could be there. Then the next two things is admin credential and managed cred identity. Admin credential is danger. Do not enable it because it has full rights. It can do harmful. It is always advisable to go with the managed identity. Managed identity means we are giving privileges. It's kind of a particular privilege. See, this is where the under the access key you get the admin privilege. If you click on the admin user enable, it will get enabled. Okay. So these password and username has been used from your app. We don't want our app to use this and screw up anything, right? We, we should never do it. So the next good option is we need to create something called a uh, managed identity. We will see that. Okay. So here, once you choose the Azure container registry, and then the next one, like I said, it's a managed identity. Okay, so we have a registry called, uh, you know, the learn smart coding and then the image is this and the tag is this. So we will do first what we will do with the admin credential, we enabled it, right? So we were able to deploy it. Okay, whatever you're seeing now, do not go with admin credential. I'll show you shortly about how to do it using the manage identity. But all what we are trying to do is there is one repository under the container registry and there was a tag. You see this? This tag we are putting into our deployment center. So this image is being built and hosted in the container instead of picking it up from the Docker Hub. If you go to this application, the application is working. All right, now let's build the same thing for the web API. So I'm using the similar command. I'm just changing uh, the name. And then remember I'm in the API project. So using the same Docker file, which is belongs to the API project, I'm building it build a success the next part is to tag so we will have a similar tag instead of task manager web api i mean web app we will be using task manager web api or just a api okay 
and then the version of uh, this API project will be 1.0 tag okay so once the tag is done the next process is to push this image to the Azure container registry so in order to do that same thing docker push followed by the name of the container registry so docker push name of the container registry slash web api task manager api colon 1.0 okay so 1.0 will be the tag version the task manager api will be the name of the repository now what we will do is we will come to this api project you see this lsd task manager api we go and choose the same admin credentials manage entity we will talk about it in the next video uh, you will understand in a good way uh, so I will choose the registry image the tag version and let's deploy the image which is there okay I will shortly show you uh, those images uh, that are sitting in the container registry but once you do these things and save in the log it will tell you uh, that it is pulling up this image and able to deploy that in the container so i'm saving it right now it is saving the container configuration so once this is done right so all the deployment will be success and the app should up and run okay now if you see the log what it is showing us it will clearly show you what it pulled like the image whatever we configured the image is pulled and uh, it will also show you that uh, the logging is enabled and it is ready to serve the request okay all right now let's go and open up the api project and uh, this is the api project url now if i go and uh, click on the task uh, controller it is going to talk to this api and it show the data right so let's do a summarize what we had did see if you see this docker tag we did uh, the version and there was one error so i just uh, fixed the issue in the api project and i did it with the tag version 1.1 and that is what you're seeing here so it was deployed uh, all right so that version was the one that was deployed so then you know the both applications started running so this was the application right so let me show you one more time so if i click on home and then click on task basically at this point of time it is calling the api so container to container it is having a communication and it is able to retrieve the data and this is all possible only because both the containers are hosted in the same azure okay so the containers do share the common uh, network so that's why it was able to talk to each other and uh, you know we were able to demo it nicely in the upcoming video i will show you how easy and how useful it is to set up the ci cd pipeline in the azure devops to automate what we did manually so we will build image push it and pushed image will be automatically uh, you know configured in the container uh, configuration and everything magically happens and application gets deployed all right we'll see you in the next video thank you thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding